Hello to my Chris uh, Akinas here in my Nant Glass and Talog and Sheer Gervervin. Hello, a warm welcome to you here in Nant Glass and Talog in uh, in Carmarthen uh, for another demo farm live. Um, we're pleased that you can join us. We've got some uh, great company here. We've got about 200 cows or so keeping us company for the evening. Um, it's, a, it's a shame that uh, we can't have uh, many farmers on farm at the moment, but uh, this is the new norm uh, as we stand. Um, well, I think well, I'm going to need Gumni, Dama Heno, and I'm going to need Tower of Fermur, my Velsing Kirkal, my own Guidiat Agorad, on the Madir Arveriat Arhino Brid. Um, uh, round with uh, the majority of this um, evening's meeting will be conducted in Welsh. Um, if you haven't already worked it out, there is an option on your iPad or computer uh, for the translation. So there'll be a simultaneous translation. So if you go into the um, languages at the bottom, select Korean, and then that'll uh, provide you with the English, um, English translation as we, as we go along. Um, so well, then you just saw on my own in the Guidea, then you can add them back the Guidea or Farm View, Hidema. Um, I'm going to need a um, pin parash e villain and a stud a gear. So when I am Bob and I'll um, Bob and I'll with no so could I. Um, so could we say that I'm in on a boy in a dog. Um, and a study the Guidea then or as I say, I'm not here. He read a Christina in yawn. Um, so when I put him QA, so he read a Christina in the ear, 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 dan, and I think he's sick of high with him. Bonnie and Attaba Christina here, a bonnie and um, Caverio, it's ear Christina de Hi, we rang and Ratipioni, Coverti Guida, he de Hina, quite an eder farmer rangos, my other one, my amen de Guithio, Yatsebrich, or Covinion, he. Right, so Osani Malign, e er formas, Gineno, Magini Govoith, or um, Govranwir, to get a Tiguida de Maheno, um, the Nidine Dipino Wife, a man barred, are a Arma and Nant Glass, or Farmer Rangos. Ac, um, I do want farmer than us when I stay now, me so the Nidica Kavla is that lucky Rayon Quiskere Dama. So, um, see, I got a Noson and Omagani Kate Bembry, Sid or uh, Stock Plus Positive Farm Advice. I hid at Arbanic Rikes, so it will help you, Iwanama, I Wessar with Lonteb, a man Nance Glass. Magan Hebid, Miranda Timmerman, um, Seven Milvedig, Sail or Pro Stock. I mean, the Shara, Dam Devnit Gora, or Habrino, and the Trace Elements. Um, I have it, Gwen and Evans, I'm Dravod, uh, this or that look here project, I said my project could be the only the help here to get that look here business and my Nance Glass. I have it, then you can do with Ariad, Gan Gareth, Griffiths, and Glyn, a Guithgareda, a Kumod, Sir Gal to to Custod Fermio, a Guitho, Asahi, um, uh, Vantisha, or, or Inavese. And then can tell us, I can see Kahadin Beard of me a Kulunohi, a Seren, a degree de Maheno. Um, so Iwan Francis, a Sidon Farmio, my Sara, Iraig, um, been Hunod of Elk or Kashigaluhi, well, Farmer Dangos, adding Hunod of the Oak Garmer Horse Wife, a Prudvet, the Hedivian, Irguite, my well, Farmer Dangos, and when it dig in a covenant, said the Nyar Vinid, um, and on the only me gala team as any of the Kumor. I have a new book about them, but you are only case of that. It is a come or so, and I did some oil or who is about an a case or the other one. I'm in a way. There we need can a seat va, Kata, Tim Bach, Moe, I'm a business, a man, and Nance Glass, um, can we say a farm, a vicious. You want to me to clear it in Bach, Moe, I'm a business, my place? Yeah, Doctor, we, yeah, um, other business is with Lee and we will not dig, uh, well, partner, yes, a good friend. Um, yeah, we don't farm more than my heaners, we will in a quick. My non classy heen and Tim Nick, Tim Hector. Um, I'm a whisper Tim Hector Arash and Califarmo or Gaver, uh, do the sailors and glass. I maggy, I maggy placements. Um, yeah. So, or an um, a vicious within. So, Tina Logo is certainly in Maruan. Or under a view, Hagamas of Ilk, who think Gatu, so Maginti, Rigans, Ovichod, Amon and Soya, Mount Taiwan, old block, Creve and Re. But eh, yeah, but Diganto, yeah, Prison, Prison Cross Jersey, Damade, um, yeah, and Hybiti, Quech Mila Hanner, Vitari, Ruidin, Arbit, uh, Edward, Quintim, Fat, uh, Jeet, 
3.5 protein uh, of the tinnel tinnel of cake honey. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so need to add lot there with his land uh, to cut replacements in then. Plus now we need to Yeah, but try to cut them into the of of porvade to demand for cake milk. That's it. I think well, do ma. Um, I'm going to get a nice little. I think we well. Do ma get any um bit silage to drink to all. I mean, I can have a little more silage skin to team with the matter. Maybe TMR and the rest of the month. Ah, yeah. Demand silage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I cake in the parlor. Yeah. Yeah. I want to have a little any bit higher. Ready, ready. Nah, man. Yeah, man. System with all simple. Yeah. Check out the and simple. Yeah, we're with the So yeah, yeah. Do you want to blow it in? Um. Yeah, I mean. In person and on the band, our red system, Belny. Um, yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, today, and I swear, though, your business, I guess, with the system skin to my men fight with the symbol, my fight for them, doing the TMR, and 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 I'd like to take a yeah, check on the symbol, them, them come to be the um, yeah, the arbit I'm sir, yeah, because in, yeah, never wear white feet, and so, um, oh, yeah. Um, yma yn ardal talog i, i'r gynnu lleidfa, o ddoch chi'n gallu gweld o'r drôn um, sydd ymlaen yn yrch teledu'r wan. Mae yn ardal um, efo lot o borfa sydd yn gallu tyfu, lot o borfa yn amlwg yma felly ag yma na sawl ffarm llaeth fawr yn y dalgyl chefyd. Ond ddoch chi'n sôn yn gynharach bod gen ti mewn bwrw glaw yn, yn, yn dipyn yma felly. O de, ie, ie, gofer taled yn gael ti 70 inches. O, o law o'r lwyddyn, mae'r mar tîr yn weddol drwm, yeah. mae'n bach yn maw, maw, maw ni gael yma. Um, ond ni yn dod ben a tyfu porfa yn dda. Pan yeah. mae'r hir mae bichod i fewn yn ystod y gyda wedyn, o beth i'r yeah, cyfnod? Beth nhw'n dweud yn diwedd mis hydre, a mae mas yeah, diwedd febru, dechrau mas fyrra fyny. Mae'n geia weddol hir ydy. Sgyn ti, ydw gwybod yr project nesa, sgyn o'n i hefo chi ydy i dyfu porfa a gwella yr hynna. Sgyn ti amcan ar y funud o faint o borfa ydych chi'n dyfu yr hector? Ie, yeah, rhwng 1 ar 10 a 10 tynnell. Sgyn ti'n chi'n ddeud i 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 chi'n Ti mae'n gyfle i gyfle i ddatblygu fan yna? Os, os, na, mae'n ma, ma gyfle i uh, ddatblygu, sain, ie, yeah, a'r tal defnyddio fe yn y, yn y ffeithiol fyny. Ie, yeah, ie. Yeah. So, dyn ni wedi cael braslun o'r uh, fyches, o'r tirwedd, ac um, sydd mae'r system yma'n gweithio. Beth ydy'r weledigaeth di am y dyfodol? Beth ydy'n ddi, bwriedu neud yn y busnes yma am yr 5-10 gwneud ar nesaf? Um, Ie, yeah, well, wel, ie, wedi sy'n mae'r tenant, mae'r ffarm yn glas ar tenant piaeth, a deg mae'n edrych rôl. Ie, gôl, gôl yn y, yn y dyfodol, felly yw, yw prynu ffarm, a berchen ffarm yn unan, ond ie, um, yeah, yn, yn y tymor byr, mi'n gen i ddys cadw'r system i fynd fel mafe, sy'n dwi'n dim plans yn ei bydd yn fwy o seis. Ie, ond ie, um, yeah, dys ffain ti'n mwynol pethau i ie, yeah, gwella performio ychydig. Well, wedi bod yma tŵ prawn hefo ti mae'n amlwg to, mae gen ti system hynna do effeithiol yma ac um, so mae gen ti yeah, bod peth yn i le a mae bod peth i weld yn rhedeg yn hynna do, hynna do dwt felly. So, um, e'r gwaith i ddi bod yn canolbwyntiau hefo ni fel cyswylffermio, um, hyd yma ydy gwella ffwyth londeb um, ar dy fiches. Um, beth, beth ti'n gobeithio gael hynna allan y dy fisnas yna, pam wnes ti penderfynu canolbwyntiau hynna mor ydym byd? Ie, yn ni'n dewis, uh, ie, drwch ar ffwyth ond e, bod ni'n gweld o dy ddoi bloc yn mynd yn deuddeg wthnos o loiau, is na tam yn bach o fwy, yeah, yeah. a dy gwaith, ie, o ddyn y loading y gwaith yn eith a fawr dde, achos y lloia am y mewn, a fyny'n ychydig yn dechreuau a dy ddoi yn ofal apo. Yeah. Ni'n mwyn bach, um, ie, o structure well i'r blwyddyn, so ni'n tri ac yn y bwynt yn awr ydw lawr ar bloc lloiau i, I nawr i ddeg wythnos yeah. i gael well yeah, strwythu'r yn y flwyddyn. Ie, gael cael y bwynt o'r un tasg yn lle bod yn ofal apo. Ie, yeah. ah, so mae o ti'n hyddo'n lloiau neu ti'n yeah. neud heat detection os licio di er mae'r coleri gobeithio helpu fe hynna ti a ni drafod hynna yn mach mwyn mynd i ddysa. Ari, yeah. ari, na ie, yeah. lle drych chi cael y blociau yn, yn llai. Yeah. 
Wyt ti hefyd yn gobeithio fydd ti'n cael fwy o gynnyrch allan o dy ddechod oherwydd yn gyd yn perfformio os licid i mewn cyfnod o fe gilydd yn haws i wrthioli hefyd. Nid yw gyrhefrod. Bydd, ie, nhw wedi sy'n ei cynyddu faint sy'n rhoi iawn yn chwech wrth os gynta. I cael, ie, so bydd nhw'n dilyn y gobdron fwy amser o'n ei cymwys y sychu o. Ie, na, defnydd. A ni, ie, plan i wi, ie, i bod y llefrod yn rhoi a, ie, o bydd ti wrth os cyn cyn y daw yn ei cael cyfle nhw ddod o wasod a gobeithio fod nhw yn llai yr un tri wrth os gyn daw. Bydd awr o sesiwn, so fel arfer y digwyddiadau mae'n awr a hanar, ond mae y digwyddiadau rwy'n mynd i fod yn awr prif reswm y dyna fydd i wan y fi mynd yn oer iawn yn eistedd yma yn un peth, a hefyd mae'r dychod mae'n bytan sety, ond wedi eich yna mae i fi dyna bod fi'n eistedd i bwyd nhw. So, i gael ddim bach fwy o eglur had am y prosiect, dyna ni'n neud yma yn Nant Glas, efo prif prosiect, dyna ni'n cychwyn yma ar ddwtlondeb. Allan ni, dyna ni gwennan i fi iawn i'r sgwrs, mae gwennan Evans wedi bod yn gweithio hefo Iwan, rwy'n ein esbron i flwyddyn yn datblygu'r prosiect yma yn Nant Glas, a hefyd wedi bod yn gweithio'n agos hefo ceid tuag at y datblygu y prosiect. So, gwennan ddiolch caros allu di reid dechwynegu di'n bach fwy o wybodaeth ni. Ie, dwi'n awn i chi, dewi yn oswch chi gyd. Felly, fel ych chi'n siŵr yn ymwneud bod o lefydd heb ffermio yn gweithio gyda'r ffermio roddangos am gyfnod o dair blynedd, a rhan amlaf yn rhedeg y dair brosiect. Ac mae ywyn wedi dod dewi i gyn rhwyd gweith nawr ers haf dwi'n lyfr yn gwneud naw. Heno, byddwn ni'n cael nhw'n gwneud gyntaf yn nant glas, sydd yn rhedeg dros y tair mynedd, ac yn dod tuag at diwedd y bryd yn gyntaf erbyn hyn, a felly yn dechrau gweld llydau. Y pan gafodd i wan i ddewis cael yr ddangos brwyddyn yn ôl, fel mae wedi sôn o ddod un o'i brif am canion oedd i gwella llwythfondeb o fiches, i roi hwb i'r canran lloiach o e'ch wythnos. Ar hyn o bryd, mae i wan wedi mae llai lloiach neu pai am 40 wythnos o'r fwrn rhwng 20 wythnos o'r 20 wythnos o'r AI, hynny dwi wedi brwyddyn. Yn ôl gyrffennol, yr un o'r fiches yn chwythnos yntaf, sydd yn gyfartalog yn ôl HDB, ond mae'n lle i godi i'r cyfradd hynny, sydd yn bosib at 900 dros gymryd rhaid blynedd. Fi fi yn rhaid o'r gella yn golygu fod gan i fwy amser i gan y bwyntio ar y gweddarell o fferm, ar hyn ar enghraifft o'r hethol, ar sylwau neu rhai cyieng. Felly KPI neu'r Cip ffwrdd y cytys yn wedi bod yn edrych arno gran ar glas. Yr eich cant cyfradd rhoi â chwech wythnos, sydd yr hyn o bryd o ddeithdu 71 y cant. 78 y cant ar gyflo mewn chwech wythnos, a'r hyn o bryd yn 70 y cant cyfradd heb mewn bryd, a'r hyn o bryd yn 14 y cant. Felly, nôl dechrau flwyddyn, neu wan, ceid, a fynnau, cwrdd ar roi cynnal yn lle, mae'n amser hir nôl nawr, ddisio nawr. Ac wrth, mae'n sawl ffactor sydd yn effeithio ar ffwrthrwndeb gwartheg, a falle ni pawb o'n siarad trwy'n os yn siŵr, yn ansawr porthiant, bwysau hethro, maeth o'r ffolio, a dyna blan. Felly, gan bod i wan yn dymyddio ai ai, ac ar unig fer y person sy'n ar y ffermau yn ddyddiol, mae'n anodd iddo gael y llygad ar y gwartheg sy'n yn gofyn yn ta yn weddu felly dros ori. Felly, y cyntaf yn y fynwyd i ni gan y bwyntio oedd Hanfod Gris. Yn anwyddysiad o Hanfod Gris sydd yn helpu o'r bod y gwartheg sydd yn gwres ac yn tygrau bod y gwartheg yn amser cywir. Yn y fynwyd i wan i ymogi i coleri, y cartes mewn dlot, felly i llogi hyd coleri a newid drosodd fel yr angen rhwng y ddau fiches sydd yn help i lleihau cydig o ffordd. Yn ddiheriad am y toriad fyna, Gwennan, mae'n anodd iawn i dy ddall i dyna i am cael sgwrs bach sydyn fy yma a wedyn ddyna ni'n dol i Gwennan, so Gwennan nos allu di gair ymlaen o lle oedd wedi gorffan yn anffodus o ddyna anodd iawn i dy ddall i, so ni'n ei drio gweithio allan er problemau technegol yn y cefndir, 
a wedi mi yn un do o lat gwen a ni gael yn bach gwe o wybodau dan datlygu y prosiect yma'n achos hynny. Yn y cyfamser, dyn ni wedi cael cwestiynau a gweld un sôn dwi'n anach annog chi i reid eich cwestiynau i fiawn os newch chi plis. Wedyn y cwestiynau cyntaf dyn ni wedi cael hyd yma um, gan Dave, sy'n mae Dave. Um, how many kilos of cake in pala uh, per day do you feed? Um, yeah, I think I've got a little bit of 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 a little Ydy hyn yn ymrywio, so mae gen ti gwahanol safon o cwlo ti'n ar first cut, second cut a third cut. So wedi'n gallu ymrywio hwnna yn yr un pala feeding wedyn dibynnu ar, ar y quality soilage ta. Um, na, fe ni'n ymrywio o'r... Dim gwent yna? Na, dim ar y mawnt. Felly ydych chi'n... Gall mae soilage yn wael ydych chi prynu cic a spec yeah, yeah. bach yn well. Ond, um, na, mae'n fwy i yn y geiaf ydych chi'n target o nawr achos mae eisiau digon o, o feed ar ôtym sy'n cael yn ôl yeah, i lo. Um, yeah, but the target is more okay. You know, are we needed? Yeah. And a and a tour of some of them party when even depend on of an abortive. I find the deficit is she's a no. Yeah. You find the cake on the calendar. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, a question I asked have it can um can Dave um, what is the voluntary waiting period for cows? So okay, so much. I'm all Kim when yeah Kim when Kali I um the nearest to Tyrus no skin met to check on us. Okay. I weld bod nhw yn lan a fyddwn ni'n aros i yeah, 35 diwrnod yeah, cyn, cyn, yeah, cyn i sefyll hwnnw. Yeah. Ok, great. Diolch i wen. And, uh, um, diolch i fawr. Thanks very much for sending those questions in. Please, uh, please keep them coming. Uh, we'll go back to Gwenna now. Hopefully um, the technical issues um, has been resolved. Um, if not, we might have to come back later on if that's the case. So Gwenna, mani drieto. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, it's been credit my person and uh, Clary, um, my one, but in a shoggy. Um, but she, my one, would depend of any shoggy or Clary, um, a hanner Clary, gum, boarding, but in a way, a rainy, wrong as I, as I rehearsed, gum, and they would enjoy a mount die. Um, my one have made of any dal with your painter gun phone, a tail paint, a ragon, but a Clary and Cushin Rubin. Yr ail beth benyfynwyd i ni gan o bwyntio ar ni ydy'r rhaeth felly o edrych ar oedran y ddiches mae'r rhanheilaeth dros ei lle pedweri'r llaetha ac felly yn mae'n aleir ei li i sicrhau fy'r hethron yn cael ei dechrau gorau gwella hi'r hoedledd y ddiches. Mae'n bwysig fy'r hethron yn cael fwy amser adfer neu yr y cyfri tain yn codi o dynodau mae'r llaeth a dy allwn fod gwartheg llaetha cyntaf yn dieddol i Gymru'r rhwng cyn dweud pedwad yn fod hyrrach i fod mewn llo i gymaru a gwartheg hyn. Felly, rydym hefyd wedi bod yn ymwneud samplau gwaith yn diaill mytholion o fichas a sicrhau i bod porthion y gwartheg um, yn cyrgor. Mae samplau gwaith hefyd yn llai o fechydon. Mi'n gweithio Miranda Sony amdano hyn. Mae Cate wedi bod yn gofyn i wad o cofnodion llaeol um, er mwyn diall iechyd cyffredinol o fichas um, neu helpu ni sylwi ar yn rhywbeth mae'n gwneud gysylltiedig a phrwyflon. Um, ac felly dyna'r rhunig peth eich unigol, dyna ni wedi bod gofyn o'r ôl mewn ffordd, a mae wan, a mae cet o'r peg wedi roi'n flit, um, rhwy sy'n wedi roi'r cylch chlo neu tinker box, um, sydd mae wan gallu gwneud yn digon rhwydd. Felly trwy ti'n hau o'r bocau coed llaia, um, mae'n helpu ar theg dŵr a mwy o ddynodau mewn llaith, um, ac gyda chi fwy o chi ei ar y peth mae'n sydd werthu, neu cadw'r ffordd a gwartheg o, o well cansg ac hefyd felly mi adladu i'r ddiches. Yn hefyd yn pwysig gach yn y goll felly byddwn ni'n meddwl yw yn yw i'n cadw system yn dyn o ran sawl bwynt rheolaeth a technegol. Felly bydd Keith yn sôn am y prodiact a'r cynllun parri sy'n gyda i wan o ni mewn fwy o ddeneldeb nesaf. Gyna mi fydd Miranda sy'n um, fel bod y dewi yn milfeddig yn landglas yn sôn ychydig yn fwy am y camplau gwaed a beth i gyfandano. No. Diolch, diolch o'r awn ti, Gwenna. Um, 
ymddiheriadau i gwrand awyr, um, mi oedd um, gweld gwen yn torri iddi iawn ac allan ddim bach, ond gobeithio bod chi uh, ddi da allu na. Um, I ddyn efo i wybodaeth ar yn weddol ni, os byddwch chi angen, um, a falle, os oes wir angen, allan ni falle recordio uh, bydd gwen yn wedi, um, wedi gyflwyno ac um, reidwch chi ar gael eto os fydd yna yn help y lle. Uh, fel chyfeid, mae yna ddim bach fwy o gwestiynau wedi dod drwadd. Um, um, un gan um, Dave Davis, yn ofyn beth yw'r be, be um, system slurry ac wel bod chi'n defnyddio tywod, ydych chi'n cael problemau yn sund. So, ydych chi'n problemau hynna, so dwi'n cymryd efo periannau gat ti, ie? Yeah? Ie, yeah, um, well, system slurry mae'r sied i ôl ni um, ar, ar slaps dy, a mae'r slurry yeah. slurry uh, oedd anwy. Mae um, un sied arall um, dwi'n passage automatic script ys yn ni. Sain gael dwi'n mynd yn traffig mor efo, na, efo san. Um, ond i'n gofod mi mewn i'r tanks latin oedd lwyddo i ni cael i gwa cair san da masdy. Um, ah, yeah. So mae hwnna'n bildio fyny, o'ch chi'n sôn yn gynharach ddig gwir, bod ti'n ddweud ti gyrru mi o'n efo bo, bobcat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A mynd i ddweud i ddweud i ddweud i ddweud i ddweud i ddweud. Os allwch chi'n dychmygu gyll yeden i fy mawr, yeah. a sy'n mae'r bichod, mae yna tanc fwr o dan union lle, lle mae'r bichod sy'n ôl i fyna. A fel mae i ddweud i'n sôn, ti'n gyrru'n ddweud i fyna. Lle mae'r acces i ddweud i ochr. No, I've had a go in. No, I've had a go in. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to take a new one. I'll turn it to what I've done. So, man, yeah. a rewind the problem. I either live here or oh, uh, so TV in the system. Mar... That's it. No, but uh, but benefits are also there. And yeah, here we go. Ah, how's the region above the submission? We understand above the air cubicles. Okay. Then I've got in life above the ground now. So, man, can't do routine. Uh, and where the the submission script for me? No, no. Ah. Ie, yeah, sy'n mynd i mi wna fel yr enghraif sodas bob bydd, so mae yeah. ma rwtin yn weddol yr enghraif nawr, mae yeah, ma un person yn gallu ffidio, made a beds, yeah. a godrydau gan dyddau mewn ti tair awr. Yeah. Oh, mae o'n ia, o'n i'n oh, yeah. dyst o pa mor rhwydd ar y system, yeah. ac um, mae'r system yr er, automatic scraper yn gweithio yn gynharach, ac mae tra ddod ti'n uh, dwi'n siŵr bod yna clip bach o fideo i weld ar hwnna. Um, Hefyd dwi'n cael y cwestiwn can um, Rydian, sy'n mae Rydian. Um, um, uh, hello, Pawb. Os bydd system multi-cut yn cael ei ddefnyddio i ni'n sailedg, um, dwi ti'n marc system multi-cut trili yn agod, so ti'n mynd i'n tri-cut, no, tri dwi ti'n gael ei? Mae tri-cut yn mynd i'r clamp, un clamp, so mae so ma sailedg yn cael ei roi, o bob cut yn cael ei roi ben yr un cynt, efe, so ble uh, system multi-cut yn cwaith yn gweithio. No, mae'r ma gwestiwn yn dilyn ymlaen wedi yn os, os afantais yna, o digwydd bod yn i wedi gwneud um, digwyddiad, ac uh, project ar multi-cut system. Um, os ach chi mynd ar wefan cwswt ffermio, a sbio ar um, Newlands Farm, so mae yna project ar fanna, allan ni um, a sbio ar yr um, F5 o multi-cut sailage. A digwy bod, oedd wedi bod afantais anferthol i'r, i'r ffarm unigol yna. So mae yna wybodaeth ar gael ar multi-cut ar yn wefan ni. Uh, beth yw'r heat detection rate a beth yw'r conception rate? Dwi'n gwybod ni'n safodd hynna yn gynharach, ond gan bod y gwestiwn yma yna ni ateb hwnna ar wan. Uh, so, so beth yw'r... Heat detection rate does in... So, um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so submission rate i gymharu a conception rate. So, uh, well, yeah, preheat uh, cyn dechrau yeah, meeting trwy hyn dde, ti'n 92% percent wedi dwi'n gos yn gosod. Okay. Cyn, cyn dechrau. A wedi mynd o conception rate i fel DIY AI man yn... Is it yeah, 65, 70? Yeah, we get him a catering. We figure it a catering ah. in here, our own knee. Nah, he. Um, our well, she well, and go with him and accept the question, eh? Um, then he am some of them line run, he, um, at, uh, at Kate. So, um, Dylan, um, Colonia can go in Nanavana. So, as an if we can turn now to Kate Bunbury, we'll, uh, also switch, switch languages as well. Um, so uh, Kate is a specialist in cow fertility and um, I know she's been able to make a couple of visits here to Nan's class. It's uh, unfortunate that you haven't been able to come here more often, which would have been great really, particularly to look at the, the cow condition and just to make sure that the project is on track. Um, Kate, if you can perhaps explain a bit more of the work we're doing here in Nan's class and the potential impact of that work. Thanks, Kate. Hello. Okay, so um, I have got a bit of a presentation and we may have some video clips over it. Um, uh, and I've been involved with the farm since November last year. 
uh, it's a, a really great unit, really efficient system. And, um, and we were looking very much at uh, streamlining it so that Ewan can do most of the work himself um, and uh, actually not run himself ragged doing it. So looking at ways of um, uh, reducing the labor requirement um, and getting breaks in particular between car and So the objective was very much to go from uh, two 12 week or maybe slightly longer blocks with a not in calf rate of, of above 10% to try and get them down. I was really pleased to hear you and mentioning nine to 10 weeks. Um, we started saying 10 weeks, but he, he's already starting to look towards nine weeks. Um, and we'd like to get it as sub 10%, not in calf at 10 weeks. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, we're very early on. Um, we've only been through having periods properly together. Um, and obviously we're not going to start seeing some of the mating plan work until we get cows calving uh, next year. But, however, we have got some results for you, which you will see later. So what we're measuring with the project is the six cow calved, six week calf rate, the six week in calf rate, uh, the not in calf rate at 12 weeks plus 10 weeks. And we're also looking at submission rate. So the other outcomes that we are not measuring because they're a little bit more subjective um, is to see whether or not we can get an improved work-life balance for Ewan and allow him to have more time to devote to management. Okay, so what we did so far, uh, Gwenan touched on briefly. Um, first thing I did was go there and do a farm profile and um, ask um, all about the farm. Um, and uh, from that, we sort of uh, made up a, a plan to um, go for the um, admission rates, put the collars on um, and get some front end loading in for heifers and things. So we wanted a bit more detail on the front end loading of the heifers. Um, but I also wanted to just sort of say that um, what we haven't been able to do uh, so far, because I would have normally been on the farm a couple of times since then, but I've only managed one face to face discussion um, we've just done, done a lot on the phone um, and through a WhatsApp group with Gwenan um, and uh, Rupert and Randa, the vets at Postdoc. Um, and so it's been a bit frustrating. Um, so we haven't been able to do an AI refresher troubleshooting and, and we, we haven't uh, directly. Um, so the uh, developing a mating plan for a herd, um, I, I usually... Um, look at what mating period so we have sort of a 70 day mating period on this farm um, and then we put in some uh, deadlines and um, visits and uh, checks and we sort of set it all out quite formally um, just to focus our mind on that we've only got 70 days to get these cows and calf and that it's all driven by with animals we get in calf uh, very early uh, you'll see that why so shortly so we much want to uh, front end load the heifers. Um, so we, um, in the, on the autumn um, uh, and spring this year, um, we have done a strategic prostate landing program. The spring was a little bit different because we started later compared to this autumn. Um, but we did try and get it organized with um, a lot of text on this slide. We've got some footage of some of the heifers that we injected, um, I think. Yeah, uh, so that's um, not heifers we've injected, that's uh, the cows bullying. But um, anyway, on the, on the heifers that we injected, um, what we did was, yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, we had to, 28 heifers and we had six heifers in the autumn. They received prostaglandin and then uh, Ewan observed them for heat and served them to observed heat. And then a week later, we injected, nine days later, we injected the animals that hadn't been served um, and a reasonable portion of those come on. So in the spring, the result was we injected 28. Um, we served... Um, yeah, 15 or so, and then we had some 
um, unserved animals. Uh, essentially, the upshot was is that 26 of those 28 heifers are all due to the calf in the first week of calving. Uh, There's only one animal not in calf or uh, only one late. Um, and then in the autumn, um, we haven't actually got those um, results yet, um, but we uh, injected um, 26, we served 19 to that injection, uh, and then there were seven left to inject, and then we saw four of those. We'll see what they will really PD them. Okay. Moving on to the carving records that I've asked you and to keep. I've done a, a hard copy based um, uh, sheet for him. Um, Ewan records things electronically, um, but in order to collect the data that was most important um, for us, um, I just thought as simply he's only got 100 odd cows carving in each block, so it, it's manageable to do some manual data entry, which is what I've done and managed them on the spreadsheets. Um, the data is also available and I can export it from the CSV from his herd recording program, but I, I haven't needed to do that so far. Um, so on the carving reckons that we do, the, the important things um, to correct is so this is a simple system for Ewan and he just um, circles um, the lactation number of the kid, she was in the right condition, whether she was under or over conditioned, um, whether or not there was any carbon difficulty, and we grade that one to five, uh, whether she's had milk fever or not, um, and what level that was at, any comments about her, etc. Um, so we're recording the things that we think are important that make them um, identifying any at-risk cows. And in the second part, we show the results. It's quite interesting to see um, how those at-risk cows affect um, the overall performance um, and how minimizing them is, is a real secret to success for you. Okay, so um, we've got these uh, carving report records that I've analyzed. And so, for example, um, you see the results for the autumn carving pattern for Nank Glass is just a, a bar chart that I've produced uh, just to illustrate that this year in the autumn we achieved an 87% six week carved rate. Now that we have skewed somewhat artificially because we sold eight late carving cows. So we've carved 105 cows in the 10 weeks, which is the number of cows that Ewan needs. Um, so there were some surplus cows that happened to be late carvers and they've been sold. Obviously, if you included those in a 12 week period, uh, our six week carved rate wouldn't be as high. Um, so we're hoping to get, we're wanting to get to the point where we actually um, uh, don't need to sell late carving cows as such, we can choose uh, to, to, to sell them earlier if needs be. But um, we can see the age groups there. And um, there's something interesting on the age groups. So the dark blue bars represent the first carving heifers uh, and the orange bar represents second lactation animals. Um, so be interested just to see what people think, perhaps whether they um, perceive what I think is happening here, um, which is that actually Ewan has been doing a pretty good job of getting his heifers to carve reasonably early in the period. These are unsynchronized, unfront end loaded heifers. These are just heifers that Ewan started mating in autumn last year at the same time as the cows um, to naturally observed um, estrus and then a bull put in. Um, but we can still see that um, some of those dark blue bars carry right on. So there was, you know, one heifer um, uh, carving, you know, into week seven and one in week six and one in week five. Um, so that's where we're at with those. Okay, so what we've got just following on from that is a look at the age structure of the herd, which Gwenan just did mention briefly. If the slide will move forward. There we are. Okay, so again, the blue bars represent the first lactation animals. 
Um, so we've got 22% heifers um, and then the different colours going through. Um, and uh, you can see that we've got 24% of the herd that are uh, between six and 12 lactations. Um, and when I worked out the average age of the herd, it's 3.93 lactations. The median age of the herd is three lactations. Uh, I think what's interesting to note about these figures is that Ewan has been carving in, you know, roughly, uh, to, you know, 20 to 25 heifers every season. Um, so obviously when we've got 15% um, and it's around about, a, you know, 100 animals per carving block, um, but you can see that to the third lactation animals being 12% and the fourth being 12, it's a, it's a, we may be potentially losing some of those animals before they're completing their fourth lactation, which really we want them to be doing. Um, so that's something we're going to focus on going forward. Um, and uh, just sort of moving on again, um, is that uh, just to introduce Miranda in a moment, is uh, this is the records from the spring calving um, this year, showing a uh, number of calvings per day going ahead on the um, from left to right. And the red bars and the yellow bars are representing when there was uh, cases of milk fever. So the red bars are mild milk fever, the yellow bars were severe milk fever. Um, and you can see they were occurring in runs. We had a little run there from sort of the, the middle of April. Um, and so this is something we really wanted to, to pick up on with the herd. Um, and Ewan had told me when I saw him in November, 2019 um, that he'd had a number of um, milk fevers uh, occurring each season. Okay, so uh, the nice picture of some of the animals that were blood tested um, uh, by Miranda's colleague uh, and he very kindly took some photographs of them for me as he blood sampled them, uh, recorded body conditions for them, um, and then we did submit those for a bit of a metabolic profile. Um, so what I was going to do was um, allow uh, Miranda to, to um, come in uh, at this point or, um, and to, to talk about uh, what we found on those uh, blood tests and what actions we've been taking. Great, thanks Kate. Um, there's a lot of data collected there and uh, it's uh, in part, I think, uh, actually mostly from you on collecting that data and being able to share that with you remotely and uh, thanks very much for interpreting that. Um, I know we've already prepared a webinar in the past um, explaining the project here and um, it looks like we've, um, well, you one's made some um, headway as well with your support Kate. So, with uh, achieving that 87% um, and considering it's the 90% is the KPI or the target for the program, it's uh, it's going certainly in the right direction. Okay, so do you have an idea of the likely performance for the spring carvers now that you've got some of the some of the data coming through, or is it still too early for that? Saying Kate that um, we're, uh, there's made, made some huge progress on the on the target of 90% uh, carving or 90% submissions um, within the six weeks, and we're on 87% now. Do you know what the percentage is or what the performance is for the spring um, carvers? Yeah, not sure if Kate's okay. Then we'll uh, we'll pass on that for now. We are running a bit late on time, so um, perhaps uh, we'll uh, we'll keep the questions to the to the end. Iwan, as I just ask Avintin, said, "No, think what a colleague did in a Guahania for team bottle and everything that they perform here." Um, I don't know. Maybe we're running. No, we've been been sure when no when no wedding in Guahania. Um, when I'm Pigolan who had been weld and 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 Menosod. Um, and the Gonyeth Gonyeth Moya was a or Amser doing Savio Dim Gofod, a right pint Aragorthic. Yeah, Maria Lot Amser Via Sanor, 
or parlo gozo um in eight in eight jobs are us um so ran ran hen nia ba se de ben nia arun ara sin eight job manun manun da ba la de be as you have it so on but fin de ben nia sai ag ba se mi di for or tail pens and come go bo her bug in tv then a colleague ฮัลโหลสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัส
So not quite so much a problem in, in uh, the autumn when the cows are inside on silage, but in the spring, this can become more of a problem when they're on this really rich spring grass. It can, uh, this, this, the elements in that can bind the copper so that the cow can't access it and can't use it. Um, we didn't test for iodine because we didn't feel like it was necessary on Ewan's farm, but that's also a conception rate element um, and can be tied up if uh, the cows are fed on white clover or on brassicas. Um, so it's really, really important to think about what you're feeding your animals when you start to look at trace elements um, and what trace elements you want to sample. Um, and Gwen mentioned it very briefly, but uh, if you're sampling, make sure you, you're not always just looking at trace element elements, you're also ruling out your infectious diseases. Um, we did, we, we had a, a, a look at some infectious diseases already on Ewan's farm, so we ruled most of them out and that's why we looked at trace elements, but it's really important not to go straight for the elements, but also look at the bigger picture um, of fertility and of carving um, conception rates. Thanks very much, uh, Miranda. Um, appreciate the complexities involved really with testing for trace elements and uh, trying to diagnose what the problems are. So thanks very much for your insights there. Um, do you have an idea on cost? Um, if, uh, if somebody uh, watching, uh, we've had a question come through actually in terms of the cost. Uh, do you have an idea of the, um, the, uh, the costings towards um, testing for, for trace elements? Uh, yes. So as I mentioned, it very, is very much dependent on the packages. Um, so there's a, a Scottish lab that we use a lot. Um, and your kind of your copper... Um, and selenium, that's about a tenner for a blood sample. The milk fever uh, one, which is calcium, magnesium and phosphorus, um, costs about £13. Pound. Um, and then the you have fertility kind of parameters. Um, so it's a group of things. Um, often you have to do, uh, they, they'll only let you submit a group of cows. So you have to do 10 or you have to do 12. Um, and that comes out about 20 pounds an animal um, for the lab for the lab fees. Um, obviously there's there's blood sample time on top of that. Um, but for the actual lab costs, you're looking at 10 to 20 pounds per animal, really. So it's not that expensive if you can use that to seriously improve your fertility. Yeah, great. Thanks so much, Miranda. Um, and uh, thanks for outlining the cost there, which I know is also important. But uh, as you were saying that, uh, Iwan was was agreeing, really, it's money well spent, particularly if you increase on um, productivity and fertility. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've also just found out that you've got also a little helper on the farm here that you haven't mentioned before. So uh, who's who's the helper that uh, you, you've got on the farm then? Yeah. Um... Well, my wife tends to help out a bit on busy times, and uh, yeah, my daughter Eva likes to feed the calves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, occasionally, yes. So I understand Eva is uh, Eva is watching us um, this evening now in the in the house just behind us there. So hello, Eva. Um, <laughs> She'll be happy with that. Yeah, good. Um, so um, actually, we've got one more question coming through, but I don't know if it's for suitable for you or perhaps for Kate. So Kate, if you can listen in as well, which we're going back to Kate now just to talk about the. Um, the, the results for the, the spring calving. Um, so we've had a question come through from, from Paul Sadler. 22% um, 20, first calvers and only 15% second. Are you losing a large proportion of your first calvers? Um, yeah, we, I did have an issue early this year then. I lost three in calf due to be second calvers this autumn. And they aborted and due to New border. Uh, three of them ab aborted like March, April time. So they would do this this August then. Um, yeah, I haven't had an issue like that before. Okay. And it's something we're looking at going forward. We might blood sample in calf heifers when they're about seven to eight months in calf now. Uh, yeah. To see where we are and where the nearest water status is. And yeah, 
um, yeah, Kate and I have been talking about that, and it's something we're looking at definitely. Yeah. Okay, thank you, and um, thanks, uh, thanks for Paul. Hopefully that answers your question, and um, possibly Kate um, can add on that now. So, Kate, uh, we'll pass over back to you. Hi again. Okay, so. Um, Sorry, I couldn't hear the feed earlier. I don't think I, I think there's probably a question that I looked pretty like right about the headlights for, but hopefully we'll be able to get to that later. So um, this is a, a some of the results for the for the farm, um, and the, the picture on there is a, a WhatsApp message that I sent through to Ewan um, or the group with Gwynan as well that we are on, where we kind of exchange. Um, uh, 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 encouragement, hopefully, and, and uh, information. Um, so essentially just showing to after the spring carving, after the spring mating rather, um, I've worked out that uh, Ewan's likely to be carving 100 animals in the first 40 days of his carving period this coming spring. Um, so I, I wouldn't um, expect to, to see Ewan very much um, sort of from the end of February on for a couple of weeks, he'll be um, uh, knee deep in calves. Um, so what that actually is going to show is um, some of the work we've done to try and achieve that uh, increase in the speed of calving. Um, so we talked briefly um, about the blood sampling for magnesium. So magnesium is what we call a macro mineral, actually not a trace mineral, it's at levels that we measure in, um, in bigger amounts. Um, and because we've seen uh, increased rates of milk fever in the herd, uh, we have increased the mag supplement that uh, Ewan's giving his cows. So this is uh, the mag chloride flakes um, that Ewan puts into the water troughs for his dry cows. Um, he's weighed that bucket and we know we're giving, we, in his case, we worked out 100 grams a cow a day of mag chloride. Mag chloride is 12% mag, so that's giving them 12 grams of mag on top of what they're receiving in the silage. Interestingly, we found when they were at grass, um, feeding fresh breaks of this with um, hay, um, we, were, we were medicating the trough outside. It's a thousand litre trough with a group of about 20 dry cows and we found we couldn't actually get their mag levels up to acceptable levels um, doing that. So next season we need to refine uh, what we're doing. Um, uh, and, but once we, uh, we actually received, got some terrible weather, we ended up housing them and feeding them silage and they came in on the smaller water trough um, and on the smaller water trough uh, medicating them at that level uh, worked really nicely um, and so we went uh, pretty much to um, just using this clicker to move forward uh, yeah here we go we went through to a, a um, clinical milk fever rate they're showing in autumn 2019 they weren't measured um, formally with the sheets because I wasn't involved with the farm, but we estimated there were 14 cases of milk fever, which um, in Ewan's herd was roughly, is roughly 14% rate. Um, and so 86% didn't have clinical milk fever. The spring of this um, year, 2020, you can see um, that we still had that rate. And I showed you the graph earlier showing how we had little flurries of them. Um, and I talked about mag supplement um, to Ewan and, and things, but I guess we probably weren't maybe quite aggressive enough with the mag supplement. Uh, but then we can see what happened this autumn um, where we have only had three uh, cases of clinical milk fever and only one of those was severe. Um, and two, so 97% milk food were free, so we're really happy with that result. Um, and it was something pretty simple, which was just the um, uh, make chloride flakes, which are cheap and easy, but being dedicated to putting them in every day. So then um, what I wanted to show was the spring to this performance. Um, so this actually, this slide brings together all of the numbers that we were talking about. So we've got our six week in calf rate measured. We've got our 
um, the animals in calf week seven to 12, which I regard as late calvers, and then the orange bars are the knotted calf cows. So you can see that with the herd overall, um, in this spring, we achieved a 71% six week in calf rate, our target 78%, so we, we're certainly getting there. Um, uh, but our 12 week empty rate was 14%, which was um, higher than our target. And interestingly, our AI period looked very, very good, um, but our sweeper bull period was probably what led us down on that, probably led to a few more empty cows. Um, and the other thing to note is, so uh, we said earlier about the, the measuring the cows that are at risk. So on the sheets that Ewan sent me, I uh, ticked the, the boxes to say whether or not they were over-conditioned or under-conditioned, if they had twins or a dead calf, or if they'd had retained cleansing or they'd had milk fever. Um, and each of those conditions counts as at risk. So um, I don't know whether or not we could just scroll through the spreadsheet actually to show. Okay, so this is a spreadsheet. Uh, it shows the um, at-risk cows. Um, the green are all cows. This is in calving order for next year, okay? Um, so this is uh, in calving order for spring of 2021. So the green are all calving in the first three weeks. The blue are going to be calving in the second three weeks. The orange are going to be calving in the seven to to 12 weeks late calves and the red are the empty cows. And what you notice as you scroll um, there on just to the right of where I've colored the bar, the X's represent the number of at-risk factors they have. And then to the right of that, there's also whether or not they were a late carver. So um, I don't know, I can't actually control this to be able to show it, but you can see as you get the later carvers and the empty cows, they are typically coming from those at-risk cows. You can see there's some printed cows there at the beginning to the left there that are actually in calf for the first week of calving. So those prints definitely worked on those animals. There were 10 used. And then you see some at-risk factors with cows that are still calving early. But as we get down towards the late calvers for next year, you can see that they are, the X's are mounting up and they're predominantly coming from those cows then the, the empty cows. So back to the to the to the bar chart. I worked out the six week in calf rate, the seven to 10, 12 week, the late calvers, and the the not in calf rates for each of those different um, groups of cows within humans herd in the spring. So you can see that if a cow there were 53 cows that had no risk factor and they calved in the first six weeks. And you can see that they achieved an 87% six week in calf rate. So um, essentially that tells you all you need to know about how to achieve those results is that we need to not have late calvers and we need to avoid as many risk factors for those cows as possible by preventing all of the things we can prevent like uh, milk fever, making sure they have an easy calving, um, and, uh, and uh, you know, all the other sort of things with mineral status. And so you can then see that the late calvers, so the cows that calved in week seven to 12, there was only 41% for uh, six week in, in calf, and 28% of those animals were empty. Um, the at risk cows uh, ended up with a 21% empty with them, and only 56% in calf in the first. Um, six weeks and just to give you some context for those numbers um, of uh, cows, there were 39 of those that had one or more risk factors. Um, there were 17 cows that were regarded as late calvers and there were only eight cows that had both factors but you can see of those eight cows that had both factors um, you know they had the very worst performance. Um, so um, that really does some, some things up quite nicely. Okay, so then somebody asked earlier what drives um, the in calf rate, and so these are some of the factors. I think I just my clicker is not working, I need to just click on there. It, essentially, it's submission times conception rate. I'll be back again, um, and going forward. 
Um, from here, we're going to be doing more of the same on Ewan's farm and increasing that gap that he's getting between finishing carving and starting mating. Uh, this is just Ewan using the heat collar um, dashboard. So that's what's driving the submission rates for us, as well as his good heat protection. Um, he was saying to me the other day that, you know, essentially they're billing so well, um, and that's partly because I've had that good recovery time that, you know, he's spotting them active as well as seeing them on the dashboard. So um, it's, you know, um, day nine of mating today, and it looks like we're on track for above 90%. Um, submission rate based on the number of cows you had served so far. So I think my time is probably up and we might need to return to the farm. Yeah, please. Thanks, thanks Kate. I was just uh, asking actually where we're at on time and uh, we are going and running a bit late. So apologies uh, to everybody there, but uh, we'll try to wrap up uh, relatively quickly there. But the data there demonstrates that uh, there's some massive progress already done and also some options um, to, to work on for the future. Uh, Kate, I don't know if you can still hear me, but just a quick question for you. Um, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the average lactation. How can we ensure that the cows are reaching the, the fourth lactation? Um, yeah, that's, that's a, it's a really excellent uh, question. And I, I think it's, we need to dig into some numbers a bit deeper to find out where we're losing those cows. Um, now on a lot of farms, what happens is um, the heifer is calving in, say in week three, um, and because it takes her an average of 10 days longer to get back in calf compared to her herd mates, the following year is a second lactation animal, she's calving in week four, five, um, and she probably might stick there, but but there's a chance that we then lose her as a not in calf animal. So in some herds we see um, we're not losing first lactation animals, but we then lose second or third, they drop out, out of the system. So uh, it's it'd be worth investigating those numbers to see if that could have been happening in the past in that glass. Um, but what we're doing now with front end loading the heifers and focusing very much on the early cows getting the six week in calf rate up, um, I think we should solve that problem. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Case, for that additional information. And um, actually, I should have mentioned um, uh, following Miranda's um, presentation that there is funding available from Family Connect towards blood sampling and fertility testing and so all various animal health testing, really. So if you contact your local vet, uh, there is funding available towards undertaking that. So uh, make sure you make, make the most of that. Um, on a similar vein, really, I know that uh, Iwan has also taken advantage of the training involved with um, AI. And uh, from those statistics and performances there, it does demonstrate that it's, it's, it's working quite well. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, from those results there, looks like you're on track for a, for a good um, calving season in, in the spring. No, they look good. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. It looks looks really busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've uh, we've got a couple of questions that's come through uh, before we go to, over to to Gareth, our uh, last uh, last speaker. Um, um, are, are costings in place? Um, uh, this particular question is asking if there's any difference between the um, spring and autumn uh, carvers, but uh, I'm not sure if you've got that uh, in place. Um, no, they run as one group then, so I don't. Just one herd. Yeah. Yeah, I don't individualize the things. No. No okay. Things, no. um, also, a question from Tritian. When calculating in calf rate, do you count in cows which you plan to cull? So, old cows and cows with issues in the number when calculating the percentage? Yeah, I think Kate has in some of those figures. Yeah. There were some cows there not to breed. Um, yeah, that's why I think the 14% empty was a bit high because, yeah, some non breeders in there as well. Then, yeah. Okay. But I think we'll carry on. Yeah. Doing it is like that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. De Gevaur. Um, so uh, that leads us on. Um, I have got a, a few questions here, but uh, we are running a bit late on time. So apologies for that. But uh, we'll cut across now over to um, over to Gareth, uh, who's just going to give an overview of the support services um, and um, additional support available through Farming Family Connect. So, Gareth, Gossel is here. 
Yeah, Dolch Dewey, Nosotha Pub. Um, Hofeni just on and Gumlim, um, Rai on Gosani, Thersigan, Kusul Fermio, Euganig, um, Arai Honint, and Bersas Solion, Ear Hins, Uri Kalijavo, Heno. Um, my Genimni, uh, Kamor Faith, Ini in, um, Josepho, Nay and the Gidol, Arni Verohano Bankia, Ganganois, Kamor Faith, Kabrithiol, Business, Rioli Staff. Coiter is a dealer at your glass, Ian Winnie Marcus Annas can hurry a gal to Castle for my head, say my mouth, Kyle can or Arbenigol, Anibanol, Achabrinachol, are Amahan of Punk, recognizing that Nasolia and Punk, and Sikali Travon Heno, Megis, can or are performed at your left abu. A nidro a hanon bankeres, megis king or business, coitir, ariolet, glasswester, achna dai. By an agasid, he that uis de gacant, am gang or ini in, even near a hub som or bumse can euro. A cassid or gantacant, am gang or group, e tree business nevoi, etto even near a hub som or bumse can euro. We have poor business, come moist, am gaysum, he that bedwar, achos gohanon or gang or. Felly mae yna eich amswm o 6,000 euro ar y busnes gymwys. I nodi yn gyflym, mae yna nifer o gwemynarau o'r enw dewch i siarad ar busnes yn dofynnu gyda ni nawr tan yr unfed ar bymtheg o mis rhagfyr, a bydd mynychu nor rhain yn cynnyddau eich busnes gael mynediad at gyngor technegol, os nad ydych yn gymwys i wneud cais yn barod. Am fwy wybodaeth ar hyn cysylltwch a'ch swyddo dyblygu lleol cyn gynter â sy'n bosib. Mae'r rhaglen mentora yn rhoi'r cyfle i ffermwyr, coedwigwyr a chynyrchwyr bwyd dderbyn arweiniad a chyngor wrth eu cyfoedion yn ei nag ystod eang o bynciau. Gall menteion cymwys dderbyn 50 awr o wasanaethau mentora wedi harianni'n llawn gyda mentor ffermio neu gydwigaeth o'ch dewis chi. Gallwch gyfarfu mewn sawl o'r ddwahanol gan gyrsiau ffôn neu galwadau fideo i enwi am bell un. Mae'r hyster gyfan o mentoriaid cyswll ffermio ar gael ar y wefan. Ni wedi clywed tipyn heno o'r pwysigrwydd o profi ar gyfer wahanol bethau. Mae samplo profi a chyngor un i un gan milfeddig lleol ar gael hefyd trwy cyswll ffermio fel mae'n dewi wedi. A mi allwch profi am anrhyw a hanol beth gan gynnwys profi gwad a ffrwython ddeb tarw i enwi rhai. Felly fel mynd o dewi eich bod cysylltwch gyda eich milfeddig lleol neu cyswll ffermio i drafod mwy yng nglyn â hyn. Y newydd eleni mae gan cyswll ffermio storfa sgiliau, lle mae modd storio tist ysgrifau o unrhyw gyrsiau rydych wedi eu cwblhau yn ogystal â'ch anw record o'ch presenoldeb mewn digwyddiadau cyswll ffermio. Dyma fideo byr nawr ar storfa sgiliau cyswll ffermio. Mae datblygiad proffesiynol parhaus neu DPP yn ymwneud â dysgu sgiliau newydd a datblygu gwybodaeth. Storfa sgiliau yw'r adnodd diogel ar lein sy'n cofnodi eich DPP. Gall DPP o lygu datblygiad personol a datblygiad busnes. Gall yr holl sgiliau newydd ar wybodaeth y byddwch yn ei ddysgu eich helpu i weithio'n fwy effeithlon, yn fwy diogel, yn fwy cynaliadwy ac yn fwy proffidiol. Storfa sgiliau yw eich cofnod personol, defnyddiwch yn adnodd a'i ddiweddaru'n rheolaidd er mwyn ei wneud yn ddefnyddiol i chi. Dyma'r adnodd ar lein perffaith a fydd yn cofnodi eich taith o ddatblygiad personol hyd yma. Bydd y storfa sgiliau yn eich galluogi i gael mynediad at a droddiad digidol y gellir ei lawr lwytho sy'n nodi eich sgiliau a chyfforddiant. Gyraeddiadau, tysysgrifau neu ddiplomau academaidd neu proffesiynol perthnasol. Tystiolaeth o hyfforddiant a gwblhawyd ar gyfer cynlluniau gwarant fferm a sefydliadau'r gadwyn gyflenwi. Gallwch hefyd gael arweiniad a dysgu sut i greu CV diweddar a fydd yn eich rhoi chi ar y blaen. Bydd yr holl gyrsiau cyswllt ffermio a gwblhawyd gennych a'ch tisysgrifau'n cael eu huwchlwytho ar eich ran. Bydd gweithgareddau trosglwyddo gwybodaeth a fynychwyd gennych ynghyd ag unrhyw brojectau neu wasanaethau eraill cyswllt ffermio hefyd yn cael eu cofnodi. 
gallwch ychwanegu unrhyw fanylion ychwanegol yr hoffech eu cofnodi yn yr adran y lle i. Megis gwybodaeth am eich graf, unrhyw gymwysterau proffesiynol, unrhyw brofiad gwaith, neu hyd yn oed unrhyw weithgareddau tramor perthnasol. Mae bob cwrs y fforddiant cysylltfermio ar gweithgareddau trosglwyddo gwybodaeth na'i llai wedi hariannu'n llawn neu hyd at 800. Os nad ydych yn gyfarwydd ar storfa sgiliau, dyma sydd angen i chi ei wybod. Mae'n rhaid i chi fod wedi cyfrestru gyda cysylltfermio a mewn gofnodi ar system BOSS drwy sain on Cymru. Cofiwch, os oes angen cymorth gydag unrhyw agwedd ar y broses storfa sgiliau, mae cymorth un i un bob amser ar gael. Os oes angen cymorth, cysylltwch â'ch swyddo gydblygu cysylltfermio lleol, neu eich darparwr hyfforddiant o ddewis, neu gynolfan wasanaeth cysylltfermio ar 08456-0003. Mae eich datblygiad proffesiynol parhaus eisoes wedi dechrau. Yr storfa sgiliau yw'r adnod sydd arno chi angen i barhau ar eich taith. Am rhagor o fanylion ynglyn â DPP ar storfa sgiliau, ewch chi wefan cysylltfermio. Dred, diolch o'r amdig arall, diolch o'r amdig trosolwg yna gobeithio bod pawb yn manteisio o'r gwasanaethau gan cysylltfermio ar gael. Um, dim ond hefyd i nodi, um, mae yr digwyddiad yma yn fyw ar Facebook, so i hynny'n ysydd i ymuno yn un yn gyrchol trwy link ar Facebook a geisio um, yr CPD yna, nid yw cofnod o'r digwyddiad yma ar y storf a sgiliau, sy'n chi'n mynd yn cysylltu hefo'ch swyddog datblygu lleol a sy'n i sicrhau bod y hyn yn cael eich ychwanegu i'ch cofnod chi. Um, so, yeah. um, os ni jyst i gloi yn sydyn, um, o'n i'n gwybod ti'n fod yn her i gael y digwyddiad yma fe o'n awr, so'n dy hir o'n i'n dros amser ddim bach. Ond mae'r um, mae prosiect nesaf sy'n gwneud ni yma yn nant glas, yn mynd i canolbwyntio ar um, cynhyddu uh, porthiant, uh, cael fwy o porthiant wedi, wedi dyfu yma nant glas, a fel yn i'n sôn o'r ddechrau i mynd i fyny o deuddeg tinell, a gellir fynd i fyny i pymtheg tinell drai mater yr hectar, sydd yn eithaf eitha nod i gwyrdd, so oedd yn i gosod her y fynnau ti, a fydd i'n gweithio fy Nigel Howells um, tuag at hynna hefyd, byddwn i'n gweithio hefo Dave Davis sy, um, sy cyrhau bod, um, bod y silwar yn cyrraedd yr er nod ar gyfer um, cyn i'n swyr bod ti'n cael y llaeth yn y, yn y gyda. Um, os oes hefyd jyst nodi, mae'r um, er o'r ffarm yn fyw, so'r demo ffarm live nesaf ar ffarm laeth yn dod o greu golwy yn diwedd mis chwefror, so gadwch allan yna, gwneud ni'n canolbwyntio ar lleihau clofni ac yr infrastructure um, yn ydig um, i gadw slyri ar ffermydd yma nawr. Mae hynna yn dod ymlaen i ni i'r, i'r darn dwytha o'r digwyddiad, a hynny di i ddiolch yn fawr iawn i pawb sydd i cyfrannu i'r digwyddiad heno, uh, dyn nhw'n wirioneddol ddiolch ar i bawb sydd i cyfrannu, a hefyd wrth gwrs i chi i'r gynulleidfa i gymryd eich amser um, i ymuno wneud heddiw. Ond wrth gwrs, dwi'n si cael ddim, dwi'n si diolch yn fawr iawn i Iwan am yn um, dedbyn ni ac yn cynnal ni yma heddiw um, ar gyfer y digwyddiad yma. So, diolch yn fawr iawn i chi. Um, Byddwn i'n diolch gyros allwch chi gwblhau y ffurlen adborth ar ddiwedd y digwyddiad yma. So, fyddwch chi'n gadael ni dyna ffurlen adborth. So, ni'n gwerthorogi eich um, adborth fanau. Jyst i si cyrhau bod ni yn cynhyrchu digwyddiadau sydd, sydd o ddiddordeb i chi. Um, felly, gynnwn ni, diolch o'r iawn, gwyl fawr o Nant Glas. Diolch o'r iawn i chi. Ta-ra.